Hi, it's Jessie from Peach Manifesto, and welcome to another AliExpress video. In this video, I am doing this. It's like that 3D stamping. I've been seeing ads for it everywhere. I had to try it. I just think it looks really, really cool. And uh, I'm going to show you my struggles, uh, my wins. <laughs> I'm going to show you it all. So I decided to get uh, one of the pots. Um, there's like a clear one. And because um, all the other ones look like the 3D kind of gel that I already have. So I didn't want to waste my money getting stuff I already have. And then this silicone um, 3D stamping mat. It's very flexible. And that's what you use to make the 3d pattern on the nail so i open this up and it's very very sticky um it's almost like rubber it and it kind of really does hold its shape like it doesn't really self-level very much um when i'm putting it on here i actually should have left some of the sound in it actually like squeaks as you brush it like that's like that kind of like rubbery almost like latex sound it was like ur, ur, ur. <laughs> i should have left it there i'm just you know trying to recreate the noise but i did use like a little bit of alcohol and kind of pat it through you really have to be super super firm with this um and press it really hard it doesn't really like to move very easily which i think is a good thing because you're wanting to do a nice thin layer you don't want it to move anywhere and then you're going to squish kind of like a template on top of it so like that absolutely makes sense to me i don't think it's like a difficult thing i followed the instructions and i rubbed my chrome in to the mat and this is where i'm saying i was having fails so I rub it in there um, and it looks it looks good everything looks fine and it takes a lot of work to do with a sponge I do it with a brush afterwards because it's so much easier and I kind of just figured like I'll roll it on I'll kind of give it a good push and uh, the fleur-de-lis bits they didn't chrome um, and also like my big fail with this is I kept trying to put the chrome on. I used way too much chrome in this one. It, it's a ridiculous amount. You don't need that much. Um, I kept trying to put the chrome on and then stamping it over the clear. Like I tried it so many times. I couldn't get the gel to cure properly <laughs> at all. So what I end up doing is because I was like, this has to work. Like this has to work somehow so i just went in with the clear i stamped the pattern i cured it for 60 seconds and then i chrome it and that actually worked really well this stuff chromes up so nicely like i like i said i cured it for 60 seconds and it's really sticky so it, it grabs the chrome and it it gets really shiny so that is cool i like that um and this is kind of what i'm talking about where it doesn't really cure like you can it's like the light can't quite get to it through the chrome you can make little dints in it um it's still like sticky this one here like this you can see like i can just like stick my finger into it and it's like mushy still so honestly i don't recommend putting the chrome on the mat and then putting it over top of the stuff it just didn't work for me at all um and also I will tell you it is so hard to get the chrome out of that silicone flipping mat you have to scrub and scrub and scrub and it's it's still gonna be there like I'm just to be honest so I'm like this is what the instructions show so I'm gonna I'm gonna try it with my white 3d gel you see it tells you to put the chrome on there Let's do it. Let's do it exactly the way they tell me to do. Um, with this stuff, you really have to move between your fingers and kind of warm it up a bit. And it's just easier to use it without a brush, even though you probably should use it with a brush or wear gloves in case like you don't want to worry about getting like an allergic reaction or anything like that. Um, I've worked with this stuff quite a bit and I'm lazy and I don't wear gloves. Um, but I'm really familiar with this product. So I was like, okay, let's just roll it on. So like it works, but what happens is it sticks to the silicone. So it doesn't release very well. 
So I patted it down again, tried a different pattern, and yeah, it. you can sort of re keep restamping it because it is that kind of 3D gel, but you can only do it so many times, and it just kind of like pulls it out a little bit. So I was kind of just practicing there, and I was like, okay, let's do it chrome styles. And so I was like, I thought an iridescent chrome would be really cute, and then I would just push the thing in exactly do it exactly like they showed in the instructions and uh yeah um it like it works but the chrome doesn't come off on there like look at how beautiful those little pineapples are I kind of squished them a little hard but like the pineapples come out beautifully but the chrome doesn't come out at all so I tried chroming it after I cured it didn't didn't work I was like, maybe it's too chunky of a chrome. Maybe I'll try a finer chrome. So I got out a finer, more iridescent chrome. I'm really trying to make this work, you guys. I'm I'm trying. <laughs> it's a bit of a struggle. Um, but yeah, like the chrome doesn't come off. But it does help it release a little bit better. So um, that one was a little bit chunky. So I kind of pressed it down with my finger again and redid it. One thing I noticed is if I kind of like fold the silicone over it and then just kind of tap it around to make sure I'm getting all the places, I'm noticing that I do get a better like image transfer. So that is something I think that a lot of people are going to struggle with is just getting it like this is probably my favorite way to do it. It's just kind of like tap it all around. Look how nicely that came out. Um, but yeah, like I'm showing you me trying it like just like a million times. Um, but yeah, like it doesn't chrome though, but it does really work well over these 3D gels. And so I was like, let's go back to the clear. Let's let's do the clear press on the image over clear let's be fancy let's try it out and um I love the way this turned out I think it looks so cool you guys look at that love it I'm here for it it's so pretty like mm, I'm feeling like a professional now and <laughs> so I chrome over it just because I was like let's be fancy right and like I said this stuff chromes up so nicely and I'm just like paranoid that the chrome isn't letting it cure so I'm not we're not messing around with that anymore <laughs> and it looks stunning I did top coat it because like I don't think the top I don't think the chrome would stay without the top coat but these are kind of my best ones thought I would show you thanks so much for watching please like and subscribe and we will see you all later Bye bye